This is a tutorial on how to crochet a headband. So first, do your knot. You've seen the other crochet videos. I do a pretzel. Same thing I've done for years. Then you want to do eight chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you want to do a double crochet in the third chain stitch from the knot back here. So there's one, two, three. You don't work a double crochet. This is not a modified one that I kind of made up. This is a actual double crochet. And then a chain stitch. I'll do a double crochet, another double crochet in that first chain stitch from the knot. And now chain four. One, two, three, four. Now I turn my work counterclockwise, turn it around, and now work the double crochet in the top of this one in the middle. And then do a chain stitch. And now we're going to work a double crochet. We're going to skip a chain and do a double crochet in the next one from the double crochet that we just finished. Now work four chain stitches. Four chain stitches. Turn it again counterclockwise and work a double crochet on top of that middle one again. I want to get this video under 10 minutes. Now chain. I'm going to have to start crocheting a lot faster. Now you skip a chain and put another double crochet right there. Or you can count from the bottom up three. One, two, three. Either way it's going to be in that same chain stitch. Now every, th we've done three rows, one, two, three. Every three rows for a little while we will um, be increasing. So in this row we'll, we're going to, instead of having one, two, three, one, two, three, double crochets going across. In this next row we'll have um, five. Okay, I already did one chain, so I'll take that and done. Now, just do four chain stitches again. One, two, three, four. Turn it counterclockwise. Work a double crochet in that first hole. Looks like I've got a fuzzy part on my yarn. Chain stitch. Now double crochet on top of the previous rows. Double crochet like we have done before. There. And a chain stitch. And now do a double crochet in that next hole. And a chain stitch. And a double crochet. Third one for the top. It's, I mean third one from the bottom here. It's easier to see it that way because this double crochet has covered up the chain stitch. So you can't see it to count it. That makes sense. Now we should have five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn it counterclockwise. 
And now you'll just work a double crochet in the top of all of the double crochets. And then when you get chain one in between, then when you get down here, again, it's you skip a chain stitch or put it in the one, two, three, in the third chain from the bottom here. Or you just skip one chain from the double crochet you just worked. Then you'll want to do three of these rows with one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll pick it up from there. Okay, we now have three rows that have the five double crochets. We're going to chain four again. One, two, three, four, and this is an increasing row. We're going to increase from the five to seven, so you will work a double crochet in that first space, hole, loop, whatever you want to call it, and then as always, you always put one chain in between each double crochet. Now on the top of each one of these double crochets, um, I'll do another double crochet. And then I'll do two more rows after this one. And there should be seven double crochets. Oh, almost forgot. We want to work one in this space because we're increasing on this row. I'm about to just count up my chain stitches and do my double crochet. But that's not what we want to do. We want to get an extra double crochet in here. Okay, now one, two, three. Oops. I made it tighter with that double crochet. Okay, now we'll chain four, turn it, and work two more rows on the top, a double crochet on the top of each one of those. Okay, I did my three rows with seven double crochets. I chained a four, turned it. Now I'm going to increase by putting one in the loop. You can hear my dog's toenails again on the floor. Chain and then work the rest of the way across just doing a double crochet in the top of the previous rows um, double crochets. Now when you get to the end, do another double crochet in the loop, and then do another one in the one, two, three, third chain from the bottom row to get an increase. This row will have nine. What's different about this one are the previous rows, there's three of each. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three with seven, three with five, three with the three double crochets. What with the next few rows, you'll have nine, and you'll just keep on, you won't do any more increasing on the ends, you'll just do nine for between seven and nine rows. It just depends on how big your head is, I guess. Uh, these hair bands are for adults, so you'll want to do seven to nine rows. I think I'll do eight. If this is for someone that's younger, uh, preteen, or grade school child, you might want to do anywhere from four to six of the nine, the rows that have nine double crochets. So I'll go ahead and do those. All right. Um, I was just kidding. I didn't do eight rows. I just did seven. <laughs> I decided I'd rather have it tighter than looser because if it's too loose, it's just slipping off your head. So, chain four again and now that we have the section of rows with nine double crochets I get four one two three one four, four. turn it around now we're going to start decreasing the rows and we'll do that in thirds again like we did when we were increasing at the beginning 
So instead of doing a double crochet in the top of this one, I'm going to skip it and do a double crochet in the top of the next one. And a chain stitch in between and then just do a double crochet in the top of all the rest. 